Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the book Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Before proceeding further to the summary, I request you to please subscribe our YouTube channel. We have a collection of 1,000 plus books and novels. The characters of the book are The themes of the book are Regretting You is a contemporary romance novel by Colleen Hoover, published in 2019. It tells the story of Morgan Grant, a single mother who is struggling to raise her 16-year-old daughter, Clara, after the death of her husband. Morgan and Clara have always had a strained relationship, and their differences are exacerbated by their grief. It is a moving story about love, loss, and forgiveness. It explores the complex relationship between mothers and daughters, and the challenges of grief and healing. The novel is also a love story, as Morgan and Clara each find new love in their new town. However, their love stories are complicated by their past relationships and their secrets. Regretting You is a well-written and emotional novel that has resonated with readers around the world. It is a story that will stay with you long after you finish reading it. In the beginning of the story, Morgan is spending the summer with her lover Chris Grant, her sister Jenny and Jenny's lover Jonah Sullivan. Morgan is Jenny's mother figure and she has a quiet link with Jonah, who exhibits maturity that Morgan admires. Chris and Jenny are addicted to drink and drugs. Morgan soon finds she is pregnant with Chris's kid. Seventeen years later, Clara, Chris and Morgan's 16-year-old daughter, is driving home from school when she observes a classmate called Miller Adams abandoned by the side of the road. Miller is picked up and driven home by her. Miller lies to Shelby about his connections with Clara and stalks her on social media. 34 years old Morgan and her sister Jenny are cooking dinner with the family as it's Morgan's birthday. Jenny announces that she and Jonah will marry, they split up as adolescents and Jonah went missing, but they rejoined briefly for a one-night fling and subsequently learned Jenny was pregnant. Morgan avoids Jonah because he is angry with him for his sudden departure years ago. Dinner is served to the family. Chris, now Morgan's husband, works at the same hospital where Jenny employs as a nurse. Jonah works as a teacher at Clara's high school. When Chris finds out about Clara's meeting with Miller, he prevents her from seeing him again and discourages her from considering acting as a career. Morgan feels alone at the dinner table. Morgan informs Chris later that evening of her choice to return to college. Morgan and Clara participate in their birthday vision board ritual. Morgan determines that her objective would be to discover her passion. Morgan observes Jenny's kid Elijah when Jenny returns to work following maternity leave the next morning. Clara discloses to Jenny her crush for Miller. Jonah matches Clara and Miller for a video competition at school. Clara sends Jenny text messages regarding her contacts with Miller. Morgan receives a call later that day informing her that Chris had been in a vehicle accident. Morgan comes at the hospital, unaware that Jenny was also involved in the accident and finds Jonah there. Jonah and Morgan investigate the reason Chris and Jenny were driving together and discover Jenny lied about having to return to work. To keep Clara safe, they say Jenny picked up Chris when he had a flat tire. Jonah and Morgan are informed by a doctor that Chris and Jenny have died. Clara regrets herself for distracted her aunt with texting in the aftermath of the disaster. Miller attends the burial, and they leave together, using marijuana before getting caught by Morgan. While Morgan tries to suppress her suspicions that Chris and Jenny are having an affair, Jonah locates Chris's vehicle at a nearby hotel. Morgan and Jonah accompany Chris and Jenny to the hotel, where they locate lingerie and prove Chris and Jenny's affair. Morgan comes to assume that Chris, not Jonah, is Elijah's father. Clara sneaks out to catch a movie and runs into Miller in the theater. They communicate. Jonah wakes Morgan up late at night and abandons Elijah with her because he is concerned about Elijah's actual lineage. Morgan continues to care for Elijah for many days until Clara travels to Jonah's house and persuades him to take Elijah back. Jonah expresses regret to Morgan. Clara avoids going home two weeks later after multiple arguments with her mother about her connection with Miller. Miller takes Clara up at a coffee shop after informing her that he has split up with his fiancée. They enjoy their first kiss after Miller admits to having a three-year attraction on Clara. 
Morgan and Jonah debate whether to tell Clara and Elijah the truth about Chris and Jenny at her house. Morgan is adamant on protecting Clara and keeping the truth hidden. Morgan recalls her attraction to Jonah and her anguish at Jonah's abrupt departure from town when they were teenagers after she informed him about her pregnancy. Miller and Clara hold hands in class the next day. Morgan unexpectedly shows at the school and captures them together. Morgan and Clara disagree. Morgan, distraught, brings Elijah up from creche and looks after him until Jonah gets home from work. Jonah uncovers many letters from Jenny to Chris while looking for equipment to assist Morgan in removing a door she furiously shattered. Morgan hides the letters because Jonah refuses to read them. Jonah and Morgan smash a picture Jenny previously gave Chris after commiserating about Chris and Jenny's treachery. They almost kiss before Clara comes home and nearly catches them. Later, Jonah inquires about Morgan's emotions for him. They dispute when Morgan refuses to respond. Morgan ignores Jonah's phone calls for a week, while Miller and Clara become closer. When Elijah becomes unwell, Jonah anxiously seeks aid from Morgan. Jonah comes home from work to pick up Elijah and has dinner with Morgan. Morgan confronts Jonah about his intercourse with Jenny the previous year. Jonah admits to having sex with Jenny because he was jealous of Chris and Morgan's relationship. Jonah kisses Morgan as they discuss their affections for one another. Clara enters as they are kissing. Clara calls Miller to her room and commences sexual activity with him, assuming Jonah and Morgan have been dating since Chris and Jenny's murders. When Miller notices Clara's lack of enthusiasm, he comes to a halt and becomes enraged at her for using him to irritate her mother. Clara begs him to stay, and they both nod out. The following day, Morgan is informed of a shattered window screen by a neighbor. Morgan goes to check on Clara and finds Miller sleeping in her bed. Morgan and Clara are arguing once more. Clara boldly departs for school. Her 17th birthday has arrived. During Jonah's first period, she frantically breaks her mobile phone. Jonah, concerned, does not discipline Clara but instead consoles her. Clara skips the remainder of the day of school and invites Jonah and Miller to her birthday supper. Morgan is preparing Clara's favorite meals for dinner when Jonah and Miller arrive. Clara antagonizes her mother during the meal and ultimately storms out. Clara tries to flee with Miller, but he refuses to accept her behavior. Clara goes inside and dials her best friend Lexi's number. Morgan visits Jonah's residence and expresses her affection for him while Clara is with Lexi. They have passionate romance. For the sake of Clara, Jonah swears to keep Elijah's paternity a secret. Morgan arrives home to find Clara and Lexi drunk. Morgan looks after Clara when she passes out in a drunken stupor. Clara confesses her regret for messaging Jenny during the accident as she walks. Morgan and Clara finish the birthday board tradition the day following Clara's birthday. Clara expresses her desire for Morgan to embrace her relationship with Miller, encourage her acting career and always be truthful to her. Morgan expresses her support for Clara and tries to convince her that she is not to blame for Jenny and Chris' deaths. Clara, confused, encourages Morgan to tell her the truth about what occurred. Morgan eventually confesses Chris and Jenny's romance. Morgan offers to drive Clara to Miller's work after noticing her distress. Clara is consoled by Miller. Morgan returns to the movie theater to check on Clara while she waits for Miller to finish his work. The mother and daughter come to terms and leave the theater together. Clara conveys her support of Morgan and Jonah's relationship the next day. Morgan tears the confidential messages between Chris and Jenny without reading them at the end of the evening. Weeks later, Miller and Clara show Jonah, Morgan and other friends their film competition application. Following the original viewing, Miller surprises Clara with a montage of films he surreptitiously shot over months in order to ask Clara to prom. Clara and Miller place an order for pizza at Miller's residence. Miller's grandpa informs him that when he dies, he would leave him $250,000 and urges him to follow his ambition of going film school. Eventually, Morgan and Clara are able to reconcile and move forward with their lives. They realize that despite all the pain and betrayal, they still love each other deeply. In the final scene of the book, Morgan and Clara are sitting on the beach, watching the sunset. They talk about their hopes and dreams for the future, and Morgan tells Clara that she's proud of the woman she's become. 
Regretting You is a powerful story about love, loss, and forgiveness. It's a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope for a better future. Thank you for watching the summary. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel for regular summaries. We also have a collection of 1,000 plus summaries of books, novels, and poems at our website at a Thank you and take care.